and thunderstorms later in the afternoon hours for some cities out there. Meanwhile, to get you started, temperatures will be in the 70s and the lower 80s. Feels like temperatures will climb into the 90s after 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning. And then the triple digits once again near 101 degrees between 1 and 3 o'clock this afternoon. And those feels like temperatures still in the 90s after 6 and 7 o'clock this evening. Lots of sunshine, just more clouds building in after 12 o'clock this afternoon. And we could see some showers and thunderstorms due to the sea breeze later on. Meanwhile, temperatures are in the 70s. We have some cooler temperatures, I'll say, in Okeechobee and Vero Beach. The lower 70s out there, we haven't seen that in a while. The upper 70s, very warm in Jupiter down into West Palm and warm in Boca. 82 degrees outside and very humid down into Southern Palm Beach County. Later this afternoon, those highs will be reaching the low to mid 90s, anywhere between 90 to 95 degrees and above average once again. And those feels like temperatures reaching the hundreds later on. So updated few to track shows dry conditions for your morning commute. Maybe one little coastal shower out there and then the sea breeze will spark up some showers and thunderstorms, some heavy rains possible west of the highways and even near Port St. Lucie and up towards Sebastian area around 3.30 this afternoon. So you're good to go until 2 and then some moisture will be moving our way after 2 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Some showers and thunderstorms lingering around due to the sea breeze, especially out to west in Wellington, Loxahatchee, even including Belle Glace, seeing some activity after 5 and 6 o'clock. We are tracking some changes as we head into the weekend. The winds will be shifting out of the east starting tomorrow into your Sunday. That means much drier conditions, a few coastal showers in the morning, then all pushing inland in the afternoon hours. Beach and boating forecast looks good. We still have that risk, risk of rip currents, but especially in the afternoon hours and even for the weekend. We have seas less than two feet, so still looking good and safe to head out there. High tide after three, low tide after 845 in the morning. Here's South Florida's most accurate seven day forecast. Hot temperatures will continue into the lower 90s over the weekend. The for showers and thunderstorms will be developing each afternoon. A few coastal showers in the morning as well. The rain will linger next week, Wednesday and Thursday, and hot temperatures in the 90s.